It's still my birthday month. It is? Yeah, so everything in here is mine, unless it's terrible. Then I will share it. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. This came just in time for our road trip. It did. So this is the Keto Crate. If you're new to keto or if you don't know what a Keto Crate is, this is a monthly subscription box. It comes with like eight to 12 different types of keto snacks. What we like about it is uh, it's a great way to find new products, but also a way that you can try things without buying an entire case of something like right. that. Now, I do want to say that if you're interested in this, there is a link down below, and we're also going to give one of these away at the end of this video. Uh, also, I haven't opened up the box yet, but we're filming in front of a green screen because of kids ministry. So I apologize right now if there is something green in this box and it looks kind of funky on screen. It will look weird. Because I'm going to have to try to edit that part out. Okay, sure. so the way we do the Keto Crate is uh, we're going to go through each item. We're going to let you know how much each item costs. And we're also going to tell you like what all the nutrition facts are on. We've got a 30 cents uh, off of the Ratio Keto Cup. We've actually tried these. These are really good. We actually have a review on them. I'll leave a link right over Rachel's head. Yum. Okay, first item. Oh. It's from Ratio. From Ratio. It is a keto-friendly vanilla almond crunchy bar. And okay, so let's see. The ingredients in this. It's a short are, list, actually. Almonds, uh, pumpkin seeds, soy protein isolate, coconut oil, erythritol, whey protein isolate, chicory root extract, sea salt, natural flavor, and stevia extract. I'm not mad at it. The calories in here are 240 calories, 17 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein. Wow. Nine total, total. carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, and four grams of sugar alcohol. So that's going to make it two net carbs. And even if you're like us and you would only subtract the Nine's sugar alcohol, you're going to be looking at five total five carbs if you don't subtract the fiber well nine total is not terrible no I, i'm pretty impressed by that uh let's take a look at the price on this it is two dollars and 49 cents we wow. may have to try that one i wonder if it will be available like the yogurt is in grocery stores i don't know we have moon cheese moon cheese this is a protein blitz mix it's so like a different packaging not just cheddar so in here are some cheddar cheese, which is pasteurized milk, salt, cheese cultures, annatto vegetable color, and enzymes. There are almonds um, and seasoning, which is comprised of cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, salt enzymes, whey, buttermilk solids, salt, uh, disodium, and phosphate, buttermilk powder, yeast extract, non-fat milk, dehydrated onion, whey protein concentrate, salt, dehydrated garlic, paprika, black pepper, and sunflower order oil. So they're just trying to like flavor the, the nuts and cheese. That is a lot of ingredients. So the calories in this package are 240. There's 20 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, five total carbs, and two dietary fiber. So you're looking at three net carbs. Five, five total though is great. It seems like they're basically trying to just imitate like keto farms. Right. But there's a lot in here. There is. It's a totally full package, which I love. Price on it's a dollar eighty. A dollar eighty three is nice. Okay. Jimmy. Jimmy Bar, macadamia nut, keto friendly. These are available everywhere. I even see them in Wawa. Don't you notice that they're no longer just saying keto? It's like keto friendly. Yeah. We're hedging our bets. Uh, ingredients, peanuts, tapioca fiber syrup. <laughs> macadamia nuts, whey protein, dark chocolate coating, which is chocolate liqueur, erythritol, inulin, and cocoa butter. We have soy lecithin, vanilla stevia, uh, almonds, coconut oil, sea salt. All of it is non-GMO. There's 200 calories in here, 16 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, 
15 total carbohydrates, 11 grams of dietary fiber. So they're saying it's four net carbs. They're using, they're playing the fiber game. That's why I never Don't buy trust these. That number. And honestly, if I were you, I would not subtract any of that fiber and say this has got 15 carbs in it. it My personal opinion. I can tell you right now, it's that gooey thing that is the consistency well, when it's they tapioca use tapioca syrup. They're that using fiber. the tapioca syrup as the sweetener and everything. This is macadamia nut flavor. $2.50. I have always wanted to try one of these and I've never tried it. Look at this Keto Crisp Almond Butter. Wow, from Can Do. I like their Can Do attitude. In fact, let's read it. It says, it's all. It's about what you can do, not what you can't do. We do instead of dream. We're here to power you in your journey to being your best and healthiest self every single day. Let's show the world what you can do. I love that. All right, let's see what they can do with ingredients. There's almonds, chicory root fiber, whey crisps, which are whey protein concentrate and rice flour, coconut cocoa butter, erythritol, milk protein isolate, whey protein isolate, MCT oil from coconut, sunflower lecithin, sea salt, natural flavors, and stevia. There are, uh, one bar is a serving, 220 calories, 17 grams of fat, there is 10 grams of protein, 18 total carbs, 10 carbs from fiber, um, it says two total sugars, and then four sugar alcohols. So 14 from 18. So they're saying four net carbs. Yeah, but again, I, I was concerned when I heard that fiber was the second ingredient. Yeah. So they're kind of playing the fiber game as well. Hey. I've never tried one though. I think they can do better than this uh, formulation. $3 a bar. Ooh, high key. Crackers. Cheddar crackers. I actually saw th they're changing up like the way they're shipping these now. This is new packaging. They never used to be this color. Cheddar. But I saw they have them in boxes inside of Sprouts now. We actually have a link down below for High Key. They're like supporters of our channel. They're great. Uh, really good clean ingredients. Love their cookies too. So ingredients, almond flour, resistant tapioca starch, lupin flour. Ooh, they've tried to change up the ingredients a little bit. Butter, dried egg whites, cheddar cheese flavor, uh, cheddar cheese, which is cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. Then we have whey, buttercream, and salt. Then we have buttermilk, salt, uh, disodium phosphate, annatto extract for color, natural flavors, baking powder, uh, tapioca starch, sodium bicarbonate, sunflower less than onion powder, lactic acid, garlic powder, sea salt, xanthan gum, yeast extract, paprika extract for color. Seasonings is just like. Whoosh. Yep. So there's 130 calories in a serving. There is two servings in this container. Um, you have 10 grams of fat, six grams of protein, seven total carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, making it two net carbs. Again, we don't like to deduct fiber, but at least all the fiber here is coming from like your almond, almond. flour and stuff like that. Yeah. And also there's lupin flour in here, so be careful because that comes from a legume. A legume. We may have to try that. That's a new like ingredient list. Four dollars and sixty-seven cents. There you Ooh. go. Keep it in front of you because of the green. Shrewd food. I'm gonna put it right here. We like shrewd food. Mm -hmm. uh, protein puffs. This is sour cream and onion flavor. Um, a bag is a serving. Ninety calories in the bag. Three point five grams of fat because it's a protein. There's mm -hmm. fourteen grams of protein. Two total carbs in this, and no. Um, sugar alcohols, the ingredients are milk protein isolate, natural sour cream and onion seasoning, and sunflower oil. Pretty good. They actually sell those in Sprouts as well. Price on those, $2.79. Nice. I will not be able to read that, so we will save that for you. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just got excited. I'm really excited. I heard Good, it. Sam. Rolling be an lines. ally for small farms. This is dark chocolate candy coated almonds. Please, it says no sugar added. Please, Please be, be good. good. Please be good. Roasted almonds, dark chocolate, which is cocoa uh, mass, and allulose. Ooh, that's a first. Nice. Cocoa butter. Then we have sunflower lecithin. Uh, isomaltitose from beet sugar. All right. Uh, then we have coloring, which is uh, carrot concentration and blueberry concentrate. We have citric acid, gum arabic, 
calcium carbonate and carnauba wax. Those are pretty good ingredients. Yeah. Okay. Even though carnauba wax is always scary sounding. Uh, three and a half servings in a container. These feel really big. 110 calories, eight grams of fat, three grams of protein, 13 total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber, five grams of sugar alcohol. So seven, a serving size is an ounce. Okay, so wait, so that is- 13 minus seven. 13 minus seven, but there's allulose in here. Oh, okay. Four grams of allulose and three grams of isomalt so there's, allulose. They're so saying four, four net, net carbs. carbs. We may be trying, these are huge. You can feel, feel how big those are. These are nice, big almonds. Okay, price on those are, where is it? That feels it's fancy. It's probably all the way at the top. Yes. $7. $6.99. Not bad. Not horrible. There you go. All right. Goodies. You just got some goodies. Syrup. Syrup. Oh my gosh. Oh, we that was in the keto box last month. I'll leave a link for it down below. Anthony said it is the best syrup even from non-keto. That's how much he liked it. Yeah. So this is the goodies still sweet sugar-free cookie low carb baking mix. It is grain-free, sugar-free, gluten-free, and wheat-free. Um, the ingredients in here are almond flour, erythritol, soluble tapioca fiber, sodium bicarbonate, salt, and stevia extract. Very clean ingredients. Very, very nice. And they're saying to make this, all you need is a large egg, a fourth a cup of melted um, unsalted butter or coconut oil, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So it's at least it's not like a huge list yeah. of stuff you have to go amass. So there's 12, this makes 12 cookies. One cookie is 70 calories, uh, five grams of fat, two grams of protein, nine total carbs, three gra uh, grams of fiber, and four grams of sugar alcohol. Okay, the only problem is that is actually just the mix. So let's go right. with as prepared. as prepared. So as prepared, you're looking at 120 calories, um, 11 grams of fat, three grams of protein, nine total carbs, three grams of fiber, and then four grams of sugar alcohol. So two net carbs in a cookie. Okay, and the price on that is twelve dollars, so that works out to be a dollar a cookie. Right, which isn't unreasonable. Okay. Next up, yum. Oh, we have epic pork rinds. I love their cracklins. Barbecue seasoning. That's ones. my fave. Ingredients: pork skins, pork fat, salt, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, mustard seed, uh, chipotle pepper powder, black pepper, cumin, jalapeno powder, and oregano. Definitely coming in the car with us mm -hmm. to Louisville. Five servings in this container, or two. Or one. Uh, 80 calorie, now that, that's a lot for it. It's the big bag. You don't know what I, I can I'd do. I'd say two. Uh, 80 I have calories. That can do attitude. 4.5 grams of fat, eight grams of protein, zero total carbohydrates. Total. Price on this is $4. I love that you know they're cooking it in the fat. Last one. Last. It's green. Keep it in front of you. Oops, certainly not least. This is the paleo friendly Thai green curry um, craft pork stick from Big Pork. Made in the USA, small batch, made with heritage pork, made in 200 pound batches. Ooh, they actually have some ingredients. A little bit, it's kind of um, cut off. There's pork green curry paste. Um, let's see, which is fresh green chili, garlic, wild ginger, shallots, lemongrass, salt, uh, sugar, spices, which are um, coriander seeds, cumin, cardamom, turmeric, water, cane sugar, sea salt, natural flavors, citric acid, celery juice powder, and colored beef casing. Um, one stick is 50 calories, two grams of fat, seven grams of protein, less than one total carb. Not bad. Not bad. How much? Uh, Two dollars and fifty cents. I wish that they didn't put sugar in it. Yeah, I, I'm past that. And if there's a little bit that. of sugar in the stick, I want to try this. All right. And we got to try this. A small batch. Got to try that. Okay. I'm very excited about this because I do know a lot of people that really. Oh, love it's like a yogurt. granola bar. Okay. Ooh, wait. Is it crumbly? It's got a snap. There we go. And all of it onto the tablecloth so you know it's good. Oh, you didn't dink it. Dink. Dink. Hey, your piece is way bigger than mine. I'm not eating it all. That's pretty good. That is good. It's not super sweet. No. I didn't but expect I don't need it to, to be. be sweet. No, and I didn't expect it to be, but this is a great, like, 
It's a granola bar. Granola bar. The crumbly kind. That is good. I highly recommend that. I like that. Hmm. What flavor is that supposed to be? It's just... Granola? It doesn't really have a flavor. It tastes like... A, a vanilla almond crunch bar. Okay, that is accurate. It tastes like vanilla almond. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Mmm. It's got like a fruity flavor. Well, it does have blueberry concentrate in it. It's not sweet. It's not super sweet. It's a dark chocolate. Actually, it's really dark chocolate. I'm feeling a little bit of a cooling effect. I don't know what that, what sweetener is going on with that. Is allulose is the sweetener. It's not terrible, but I've just noticed. I don't it. know if I would buy them. Nice treat. Well, they're in the box. A lot of almond with Big not almonds. a lot of chocolate. And the chocolate is a little it's bit. It's very hard. I'm used to like when you want chocolate covered almonds, like that milk chocolate, not milk chocolate flavor, but this is like a hard candy shell. It almost reminds me Jordan of like the almond. Jordan almonds. Yeah, but it except says for it's, it's chocolate. But it says that it is dark chocolate candy coated. Yeah. So it's like the candy coated, not just yeah. dark chocolate covered almonds. It's more of a Jordan almond consistency than like, you know, uh, I don't remember what those goobers, but they were peanuts, right. but it's that consistency, soft. it's not that soft chocolate, but not bad. I loved Jordan almonds, mm -hmm, um, me too. but I'm, I'm feeling some tongue action here. It's okay. I don't know if I would buy it, but no. that's just me. Taste is subjective. Totally. Let us know in the comment section if you've tried them and what you guys thought about them. Uh, we do have one of these to give away. Here's what you need to do. You need to, number one, be subscribed to our channel. You need to hit the like button on this video. You're going to go down below and you're going to leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, any comment you want. If you can't win or you don't want to win, you can just put like, hey, give it to somebody else. Also, you must live in the United States. Sorry about that. Just there's laws in other countries, things like that. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we try something new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.